Well, we just got another box. And I think I know what it is because based on this and this, it's either a, a lithium iron phosphate battery or something to do with the power station. So let's go open it up. And I was correct. station review on this Gumby gear review channel well look what we got here we've got another power station this time it's from a company called Pecron that's right Pecron and um, this time instead of going up 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 in uh, size we actually went down because um, a lot of folks been asking me uh, can you do a review on a smaller power station where I can just kind of take with me to work or take with me to an outdoor event where it's not heavy, where I can charge my phone or my laptop while I watch the kids play a softball game or while we're at the beach or while we're just doing an overnight camping trip? Um, well, here's your answer. This is the Peck Cron e300 lfp that's right after i got those comments about four days later uh pecron reached out to me and said if i could do a review on this little power station and um, i said sure so they sent me this for testing and review so this video is sponsored by pecron today and um, this is a small power station it is super super light and this would be great for somebody like that but uh let's uh Check this one out a little bit deeper and uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about the uh, E300. Now the Pecron E300 LFP has an excellent load capacity of 600 watts in this little small power station. It has super fast charging and it can meet regular outdoor and home emergency use. And it's compact design is very convenient to carry. Now some of the key features this include an app control it's wi-fi <laughs> or bluetooth control uh, 300 watts of super fast charging uh, 60 minutes at 80 percent or 80 minutes at 100 percent it has a ups or uninterrupted power supply function it does have an led light it has a 100 watt solar input a 200 watt dc input and it also has a 15 watt wireless charge and a uh, solar power panel input of 100 watts. It also has a USB-C and a 100 watt rechargeable and discharge uh, port. Now there are four ways to charge this power station. One is an AC charge and I will show you all that because it comes in this little bag. And there is no brick with this power station. Uh, most of the little power stations this size come with an AC brick, not this one. So with the AC charge uh, to grid power, it only takes 1.5 hours. Uh, you can use a USB-C charge, uh, which will take three hours, and then a solar charge uh, with the solar power panels, and we'll cover that more in detail, will take three hours. 
or you can use your car charger using uh, your, your 12 volt battery and that will take three hours. Now, I normally go camping or disperse camping for an extended period of time. So I look in the range for my power stations, you know, in the 2000 watt on up, you know, 2400 watt power stations um, because of the duration. Now, something like this would be great for, you know, like I said, you know, for a day trip or somebody's looking to, to be at a, a, a sports outing, a ball game, their kids, uh, you know, soccer game or, or just, you know, at the beach and all, or emergency power or a CPAP machine. This would be great for somebody that's on a CPAP machine that goes camping. So let's go check out what all this stuff is. Now this thing's only 10 inches long, seven inches wide and six inches tall. So it's a fairly small unit and it only weighs about 10 pounds. Very, very light. Now there is only one handle on the top right here and uh, it's built in with a little rubber uh, ha uh, piece right here. So that's about it. So um, it's only a one hand operation carry. Now the top of it is a 15 watt wireless charger. Um, so let's see if it charges. Okay. okay, so it's charging. So it's about pulling about seven watts out of there. So let's look at the front of this right here. We'll start over here on the left. Um, we have the DC on off button here and you only have one 12 volt. This is a 10 amp DC plug with a rubber cover. You do have your 24 volt 5 amp and a 12 volt 5 amp plug here. Right underneath the main screen you have a one USB-C, just one, so you have a 100 watt, so this would be for like your uh, laptop or your iPhone or your, you know, your cell phone. You do have uh, two USB uh, here, there are 18 watts. And then on your right hand side, you have two AC uh, outlets here, and these are 600 watts total max. Of course, you have your on, your AC on off switch right there. Now your screen here, uh, pretty simple. Um, you got your battery percentage. I haven't charged this yet. And then here on the right hand side, um, I've got, uh, these are your hours left on your battery and then your uh, output. I'm showing uh, nine watts of output. Here on the right hand side, you do have your 12 volt, 100 watt uh, inputs uh, for your solar. And then here you have your 100 watt, 120 volt uh, AC uh, charge from your grid. So here above your uh, outlets here, you have your LED light and you have three modes here. Turn it on, you hold your button in, you have your low and then your high and then you have your SOS uh, blinking light. So when you purchase your E300, you're gonna get a little nylon bag. It does have a little strap here with a, a snap. I guess you could run that snap through here and then snap it on so you don't lose your bag. But uh, in the bag you do have, oh, it just comes with two cords. You have your uh, DC uh, plug that you can charge from your car. And then you have your, uh, your grid power, your AC plug, that's it. You don't have a brick with this thing. So that's pretty cool. Something this small doesn't have a brick. Now will the Pectron 300 have enough power to boil some water on my Stoke Voltaics Joule electric kettle? Four hundred ninety watts. So far, it's holding. We'll let it run for uh, the 
to six minutes and see if it boils. So far, so good. Almost uh, 500 watts and this little E300 uh, is holding its own. In fact, it is <laughs> boiling some water. I'm pretty impressed. It's like the little train that could chugga 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 choo choo. <laughs> So the Pecron E300, um, it lived up to my expectations for a little power station. Now you can pick up these, this power station for about $199 from uh, Pecron.com or you can go to their Amazon store. I'm pretty impressed um, if you're looking for a small power station to take along with you on these short trips. Um, something to look at. Um, it's very economical, very cheap. Um, for the price wise, pretty decent power station. So I'll put the links and uh, info in the box below. If you got any comments, please ask away. And uh, little, little bitty, little bitty power station that could. So anyway, if you made it this far in the video, please subscribe, like, and comment. That helps the channel a lot. So check out our Patreon page. We've got some new members. I appreciate you guys uh, supporting the channel that way. We have three levels of membership. Check it out at patreon.com and then type in Semper Gumby on, on the uh, a search or I'll check out the link below. So until next time, uh, we'll check you out again. We'll see you on the next video. This is Semper Gumby out.